Hi all, this is Skip from Skip's Messy Workbench. And this is uh, the first video. I, I made one for the 32 Ford Appreciation build, but I didn't have the models or the model that I wanted to do in hand. Well, the mailman was real good to me today and I got the model. So let's open the box and take a look at it. So in the mail today, I received not one, but two model kits. And the one I was waiting for is this Revell 32 Ford three window coupe. And I was hoping I could still get this and they still had it. This is the one that I'm planning to do for the, um, a 32 Ford appreciation build that Kim's custom uh, workbench or Kim's custom garage is doing. Um, so I got this one today and we're going to open this. And I also got the second one that I ordered, which is an MPC delivery, which is the 32 Ford delivery. And I, I like this one also. I I'm going to build this, but I don't think I'm going to do this one for the appreciation build. I, I like that three window coupe better. So let's get it open and see what's going on inside. So let's cut the cellophane wrap off of it. I think. <laughs> I think. I don't want to cut the box, so let's grab a little bit of this plastic here. And we'll pull the cellophane off. And let's get this little puppy open. You don't want to open, do you? Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see what's in the box. So we've got some tires. And looks like they're Goodyear tires. And every oh, just dropped the clear. That's all I needed to do. I'm surprised the clear is not in a bag, but the clear. And there are some scratches and scuffs on it because it's not in a bag. So I'm going to have to probably see if I can get rid of some of the scratches and scuffs on those clear parts. I'm surprised that wasn't in a bag. The chrome pieces look really decent. They look fairly good. There's another tree of chrome. Also not in a bag. And this was a brand new kit. It wasn't uh, previously owned. At least that's what I'm told. Let's open the bag here. And we'll pull out the body. The body actually looks in fairly good shape. There's a couple of mold lines along here, which will be easily removed. I can see this is gonna need some work in this area. But again, not too bad, not too bad at all. So the body is gonna need, or the, the body is gonna need a little bit of work but not much, not too much overall. Let's take a look what else we have in here. All right, we have the 
side fenders and it looks like the fender skirts and you know back in those days I always liked to see fender skirts my dad had a 49 Plymouth coupe and um, he he all he had the fender skirts on it but he was also what we call the pep boy because <laughs> back in those days when uh, you wanted to like trick out your car and put all those things like the fender skirts and the, the silver they had like chrome windbreakers that you could put on and the raccoon tails and all that stuff you went to pet boys to buy that stuff so when you when when somebody had their car tricked out like that they always called those people a pet boy so my dad was a real pet boy and <laughs> so the, the side this looks in really good shape i don't think that's going to need much clean up at all and what else do we have in here okay we have the seat I like the seat it already has the yes I do like that seat it already has a lot of detail on it that's really nice the tub or the flooring looks like it's really good the door panels have a lot of detail on it oh yes this is going to be very very nice very very nice and let's see here here we have some engine and some exhaust pipes oh it looks like it has an electric fan for it and the belt and pulley the steering wheel I believe that's the shifter short drive shaft the differential that's the steering column so it looks like it's it's got three on the tree plus the turn signal and we also have in here the engine halves also looking very good the radiator this is more like the, the radiator that I want to do for the 30 for the 34 pickup that I'm working on valve covers yeah this is looking really good this is looking really good these parts are really nice and clean uh, not a lot of cleanup to do and we've got some red parts here I believe yes they're 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 lights they're very difficult to see here but it looks like there's there's two small lights most likely the tail lights that's interesting so I don't want to lose any of this because I'm not sure what's parts on this and what's not <laughs> so we're gonna make sure that gets back in the bag okay so those are the parts the decals that came with this are flames I'm not a big fan of flames when I was younger building models back in the 60s um, most of my cars had flames on them but I'm not much into to putting flames on cars, so they're probably not going to get used. Although I'll probably use, maybe I'll use the license plates. I'm not sure yet. And, oh God, I'm glad I looked in there because down in the bottom here, we actually have a headlight that was popped off of that clear tree. The instruction sheet looks pretty straightforward. nicely laid out very nicely laid out this is going to be a nice kit to build very nice actually this is well done um, compared to the 34 pickup that I'm currently working on so excellent anyway so that's what I'm going to be doing this one for the appreciation build for sure and 
Um, I, I've pretty much decided on what color I want, but I'm not going to say anything because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to mix the color properly that I want. But um, I, I'll I'll have some I'll have another video coming up in a while, so I want to get some of these parts off the tree and I want to start cleaning things up. But I got to get back on the 34 pickup because I want to do some more things on that before I start on this particular build. So check back again soon. I will be posting this on my YouTube channel, Skip's Messy Workbench. I will have some photos starting to come on my website, which is actually jtodora.com, which is currently the home of Skip's work, Messy Workbench. I'll put links in the description box for this. And I will also post this on Kim's um, Custom Garage group Facebook page uh, just to keep everybody else informed. Okay, so um, we'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>